Hi, I'm Allie. You may remember me as Baba Sheep from Mother Goose Club. But I'm embarking on a new adventure with my friend, Alfie. Join us as we explore the fascinating animal kingdom. Wild, wild, wild. It's wild, wild, wild. Hi, Alfie. What are you painting? Hi, Allie. I was trying to paint a sunset, but the paint ran down the paper, and now it looks a mess. Don't be sad, Alfie. It can still be good. You think so? For sure. With a bit more work, we can turn your painting into a super special creature. Really? What sort of creature? Come on, and I'll show you. You can come along, too. Let's take a look through the creature scope. Any creature that looks like my painting must be pretty strange. These creatures are strange, but that's what makes them so amazing. Check them out. I see them. They're jellyfish. And my painting does look like them, sort of. But why are jellyfish so special? For a start, jellyfish aren't fish at all. If they're not fish, then what are they? They're called plankton. Plankton are creatures that just drift along under the water. These drifting jellyfish sure look strange. And very beautiful, too. Just look at all the different shapes and sizes and colors. There are more than 2,000 different kinds of jellyfish. Wow. Jellyfish are among the oldest creatures on Earth. They've been around for millions of years. They were here even before the dinosaurs. Wild, wild, whoa! Their bodies are made almost entirely of water. They don't have any bones, a brain, or even a heart. What about those long dangly bits hanging from them? They're called tentacles. The jellyfish use them to sting the small fish they want to eat or defend themselves from bigger fish that want to eat them. Can the tentacles sting us? Jellyfish don't attack humans, but if you accidentally stand on a jellyfish tentacle, even a dead jellyfish that's washed up on the beach, it can sting you and be very painful. Wow, a big sting from such a small creature. Not all jellyfish are small. There are thousands of different sorts of jellyfish, and while many are so tiny you can hardly see them, a few jellyfish are enormous. They have bodies as big as a grown-up human and tentacles longer than a bus. Gosh, that's huge. Can you see now why I thought your painting reminded me of a jellyfish? I can, Allie. And I'm so excited by seeing them that I'm going back to turn my sunset into a jellyfish. <laughs> but before you do, there's another painting we can try. One that actually moves like a jellyfish. A moving painting? That sounds wild. How do we make a painting that moves? Come on, and I'll show you. Let's all go. Time to hop aboard the Zippy Zoomer. Ready, everybody? Let's wow, wow, wow. Hey there, kids, come gather around. Come meet the animals, adventures abound. Learning, exploring, let's seize the day. Come on, let's play. Can't wait to see a painting that moves. It's a really cool trick, Alfie. We'll need water, a spoon, whiteboard markers, a tray, and we drew a little background. First, I'm going to draw our jellyfish. Mm. Wow, our very own jellyfish. Now we have to wait for it to dry. Oh. Now we've waited a minute for our jellyfish to dry, so we're going to make it float. We'll take our spoon, add some water, and put it around the jellyfish. Here it goes. Ooh. You see how the jellyfish is starting to float? Yeah. <gasps> oh, it bubbled. <laughs> there Ooh. it goes. Oh, wow. 
It's wow, swimming. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Our very own floating jellyfish. Let me try. Ooh. It floats because the ink is designed not to stick to surfaces. And it's not soluble. What's soluble? It means it doesn't dissolve and disappear in water. So there you have it. A picture of our floating jellyfish. Oh, how I wish I could swim like an otter. Dive deep, stay cool, and underwater dream. Oh, wow, I wish I could swim like an otter, free and happy, not a worry. Oh, oh how I, I wish I could swim so free. Sometimes I wish I could swim like these animals, go exploring treasure hunt under the sea. Sometimes I wish I could swim like these animals, Play with fish, hide and seek in coral reefs. I really wish I could swim so free. Oh, how I wish I could swim like a jellyfish. Float around with tentacles so free. Oh, how I wish I could swim like a jellyfish. Free and happy, not a worry. Oh, how I wish I could swim so free. Sometimes I wish I could swim like these animals Go exploring treasure hunt under the sea Sometimes I wish I could swim like these animals Play with fish, hide and seek in coral reefs I really wish I could swim so free Oh, how I wish I could swim like a dolphin Swim and sing, jumping out of the sea Oh, how I wish I could swim like a dolphin, free and happy, not a worry. Oh, how I wish I could swim so free. Here we go again, guys. It's time to guess which animal I am. I'm a big bird with a long curved neck. With my webbed feet, I can gently paddle so it looks like I'm gliding gracefully across the top of the water. And I'm a good flyer, but my wings are big. So up in the air, I flap them very slowly. Can you guess what animal I am? That's right, I'm a swan. We've had a lot of fun today, and we hope you have too. See you again soon, and until then... Don't forget that we always say... It's Wild Wild Wow! It's Wild Wild Wow!